Are you confused about the doctrine of the Trinity? Well, let me clear it up for you. If you're a Trinitarian, then you believe that God is three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Trinity is not one person who relates to us in three different modes. That's called modalism. No, the Trinity is three distinct persons who share the same divine essence. The Father is not the Son, the Son is not the Father, and the Father and the Son are not the Holy Spirit. What this means is that if you're a Trinitarian, uh, when you speak of God, you really should use words like they or them. But does the Bible use plural pronouns for God? If it doesn't, wouldn't that help prove that God is not a trinity? To know for sure, we'll have to look a little closer. God gave us his revelation in common language, which means that the words used in the Bible are going to have their normal meaning. In other words, if God intended to communicate truth to us, he would have had to have done it using a method we can understand. For God to use words that normally mean one thing, uh, but he actually meant something different, then it's no longer revelation, it's confusion. So when God consistently uses the first person singular personal pronoun to refer to himself, uh, we must take that to mean that he is one person. In normal language, when the words I, me, he, him, and himself are used, they all refer to one person. The handful of times that the plural personal pronoun is used for God uh, like Genesis 1.26, 3.22, 11.7, and Isaiah 6.8, uh, these times must be weighed against the thousands of verses that use the singular personal pronoun instead. Also, in the Hebrew, verbs can either be singular or plural. So, for example, in the very first verse of the Bible, we read, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, Genesis 1.1. The word created in the Hebrew is actually he created. This is confirmed when Jesus said in Matthew, Have you not read that he who created them from the beginning made the male and female? Matthew 19.4 The God who created the heavens and the earth is one person. What about Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 39, which says, this is God speaking, he says, See now that I, I am he, and there is no God besides me. It is I who put to death and give life. I have wounded, and it is I who heal, and there is no one who can deliver from my hand. The words I, he, me, and my all refer to one person. So here God exhausts human language to communicate that he is a single individual and that he alone is God. With language like this, how can we understand that God is a trinity? In what way is God three persons? Doesn't it make more sense to understand that God is one person?